Hey guys, I'm in the field. It's not stopped raining all day, so I've just come up to check on everyone. Mai's looking at me like I'm some kind of alien. Oh, she's just, she's just having a little run off. I'll just turn the screen around. So, here they are. She's not impressed. I'm hoping she might come over in a minute. It's only me, babe. Only me. So, Mum's put them in here because it's bonfire night tomorrow and we're expecting fireworks tonight. So there's a lot more room for them to run around in here, even though it is our wettest field. So they're all in together. I'm just looking at Angel's rug. She's got this new rug on. It's got a neck cover. I just don't understand why they still do these neck covers that clip on. But then as soon as they put their head down, you get this huge gap and it's pouring down. It's all wet inside. So we're going to have to rethink that one. I think I'm going to head over and see what they all think of my umbrella. Let's just get this gate open. Right, I've made it. Here I am. Let's see what they think of this bad boy. Hey girls, it's just me. Just me. Come on Daisy, you come and say hello. Do you know what though, she's going to be mightily disappointed because I haven't brought any treats in. I'll go back for treats in a minute. Good girls. It's all part of the training. Let's go and check on this silly rug of angels. Hey girls. That's it. Oh, they're coming, they're coming to have a look. So we're having a weekend off this weekend. Clover and Jasmine have gone for a sleepover at Nanny and Grandad's. I would have been doing something with these this weekend. However, it has not stopped raining all day and also we had a little accident on Tuesday uh, we were out riding with Daisy over there good girl let's let Angel have a look at this umbrella first that's it it's only an umbrella good girl yes we were out hacking with Daisy she's been such a good girl and then a lorry came and it slowed down it was really good to be fair and unfortunately just as it went to overtake us the air brakes went off she had a bit of a fright Oh, back up everyone. Hang on a minute, Angel's just giving it a good old sniff. It's my umbrella. What do you guys think? You like it? That's it. So, yeah, um, Daisy ran off. I tried to hang on to her as best I could, but I got dragged down and trampled on on the road. And Daisy galloped off. Hey, girls. Hey, girls. Clover was a little superstar and she stayed on and she managed to pull Daisy up a little bit further down the road and was amazing. I, however, got trampled on and have cuts and bruises all over me. So I've just been resting up for a few days. Hi, girls. Oh, you silly girls. They've changed the style of them since we bought this one. So it's a different style, but also the neck cover. It's just ridiculous. So I'm going to have to get her something different. We've been trialling a few things with her because she's very, very itchy, aren't you, babe? So, go on now, good girl, that's it. The vet came out the other day, she was going to try some steroid injections with her, but unfortunately, she wouldn't let the vet near her. We did try, the vet was pretty persistent, but so was Angel. It didn't go too well, so in the end, hey, we decided to go for some steroid tablets, which are actually for dogs, so... She has quite a few of those in her feed. And then we let her out into a field that she normally goes straight over and itches and itches on a tree until she rips the rug to bits. And uh, yes, I know, it's a lovely umbrella, isn't it? Yeah. Um, apparently, Mum let her out there yesterday and she went and she had an itch on the tree, a little token itch, and then she went off and started grazing. So, fingers crossed, this might actually work. We also gave her an ivermectin wormer that the vet told us to give her and um, touch wood bench over there I'll do that in a minute she seems to be pretty good my she can you move over so my can get a look in please little lady she's doing brilliantly look at that nose if you can see it I'm just try hold my umbrella while I zoom in a little bit there we go they're beautiful oh hang on a sec angels right right in my face I know you all want to look at my lovely umbrella get out it's mine you're not getting dry under here with me so, I just thought I'd chat really about Mai and our plans for her. She's settled in amazingly. She's friends with everyone here and it's really easy to catch her now. I can just walk straight up to her with the head collar and pop it on. 
I managed to get all her bot eggs off well pretty much all of them but now they're covered in mud so I can't tell where they are to be honest but I think they're all gone um, so what are my plans with my she's three and a half at the moment so we're in no rush to do anything with her to be honest I am hoping that she'll be strong enough for me to get on because um, I just think it'll be a little bit easier to train her that way with Daisy we had to do it with clover on really because she's only 11 hands and I'm just too heavy so we took a long time and we did it with clover on but I think it'll be easier with my if I did it so what I did is I went on a diet so I've been dieting now for three months started in August obviously before I bought her but I, I had the intentions of buying a, a pony that I could break myself so I've been dieting since August I've lost a stone and a half so far and I have looked into it the sort of weight limits and stuff and I think if I lose another half stone it should be should be easy really for me to ride her so that's the plan I'm going to continue to diet try and lose another half a stone and then in the spring I should be able to get on her fingers crossed anyway I've had a bit of a blip because I injured myself and then last night I ate a massive pizza but you can't blame me can you because I was feeling really miserable I'd been trampled on by a tiny pony and actually although she's really small she's really really strong she stood on my stomach and kicked the back of my head apparently I should have gone to hospital that's what Will says but I'm pretty stupid so I didn't go but the lump on my head has gone down now so I'm feeling a lot better anyway let's see if we can get near my without Angel butting in Hey, come and have a look at this umbrella, babe. Come and see it. Do you want to come? Come on, then. She's had a little bit of an eye infection as well, so I've been using allergy wipes to clean her, her face up. And I did put a mask on her, but it's no longer on her, so I think I'm going to have to take a walk around the field, see if I can find it. She was really good, though, putting it on. So that was good. Do you know what? I've measured Angel for a rug. And... I bought the five foot nine. She was in a five foot six last year. I threw it over her this year. Bum was sticking out a mile. So I thought, right, I'll remeasure her. Measured her. And she measured five foot eight, I think. So I chose a five foot nine rug. And look at it. I mean, has she grown in the last two weeks or has the rug just shrunk? It looks absolutely awful. It's just no good. So I'm going to have to remeasure before I buy something else. Last week I bought Daisy a new rug and I went for a Ruggles rug. And I, I'm actually really, really impressed. It's brilliant. So I went for the 50 gram Ruggles rug. And the reason I did that was because I bought, I bought a couple of different rugs actually. I wanted one with a neck cover so that when we're going to Pony Stars, we can just pop the neck cover on and then the next day she should be clean because she's always grubby for Pony Stars. And we always look atrocious. Anyway, I bought a couple and the rug fits her because she's got such a massive body. And the neck cover is huge. It goes like halfway down her face. So I went with the Ruggles rug so that I could buy the rug separately. And they also do, hello babes, hello. They also do a Shetland size neck covers. So I bought the five foot rug and then the Shetland neck cover. And we tried that on the other day and it is absolutely brilliant. So I have left them feedback. I don't normally leave feedback because I can't really be bothered, but it, it is brilliant. So I haven't put it on because we were planning on clipping her and then putting it on. But since then, this happened and I don't know whether you can actually appreciate the state of the pony right now but I don't want to ruin the new rug by putting it over that so I'm holding off for now hoping that it might stop raining soon but according to the weather forecast it's going to continue for another couple of weeks yet I did clip Spicy the other day so she's had a full clip that's why she's got her rug on now she looks super smart apparently it makes her go faster as well mum said because she's the world's laziest horse Little Bloss though, I'm not going to clip her because she's like the little devil pony and she's never going to let me near her. Anyway, I think I've rambled on enough to be honest, haven't I? And the ponies have seen my umbrella. There's nothing I can do with that coat of angels because it just clips on too close to the neckline really. So anyway, if anyone does have any examples of rugs that might fit better than that monstrosity, please let me know. I'm looking for something with a neck cover just because of her itches. So I had, it's quite new and she's actually already ripped it once, I've had to repair it because she went straight over to her favourite rubbing tree and she rubbed and rubbed and rubbed, even though I was shouting her to stop, she did not stop until the neck cover pinged off and the rug she was wearing wasn't this one, it was a weather beater, actually ripped in half, right down the middle. 
so I had to literally throw that one away but then I got this and now it's covered in mud and doesn't even fit her so yeah let me know what you think something that'll fit her I might have to go for a combo next time because I'm actually sick of the gap the Ruggles one for Daisy um, actually fits the neck cover fits on with velcro around the neck so it takes that gap away which is actually really good we probably won't put a neck cover on her all the time unless we clip the neck I did try her with the clippers the other day just to show her them and she was pretty scared so I think I'll have to do another few sessions with her see how she gets on do you want to have a look come and have a look anyway I'm holding the phone and my hand is absolutely frozen so I'm gonna to have to put the phone down and get some gloves on I think before my hand freezes off if it does stop raining we're gonna go out to fireworks display tonight we're gonna to meet up with nanny and granddad who Clover and Jasmine are staying with and do that and we're gonna get some tea at their house so that'll be fun I'm gonna head back in a minute because I think gloves probably won't cut it. I think I'm going to need a coffee to warm my hands up. These look, look all right. They don't seem too bothered about the fact that it's absolutely pouring down, do they? Horses don't care. Anyway, that's all for now. I just thought I'd do a quick update on the beautiful Mai. So hopefully, once I've managed to get on her and do something with her, um, Clover might ride her. Clover's really keen. Clover thinks she's going to ride her already. She was hoping to take her to Pony Stars for Halloween because she's black. She thought it would really suit Halloween style, but unfortunately I can't train a pony that quickly and we do like to go for the slow approach in this house. We've got loads of groundwork still to do. I'm just going to start by taking her for walks with me. So anyway, I'll stop rambling on now and say bye. Bye to these lot. Bye bye girls. Bye to you. I tell you what, we haven't we haven't really included Bloss, so we'll just go say a quick hello to her. She probably won't be impressed because I haven't brought any sweets. Hey Bloss, you okay babe? We've got the horse dentist on Tuesday as well. I don't know if I'll do any video of that, but... Hopefully it'll stop raining by then. The weather forecast actually says it's going to be dry. So, you all right, babe? Do you want to see my umbrella? Look at you. Good girl. So Bloss is going to get her teeth done because she has gaps in her teeth and she gets food stuck in her cheek. She looks like a little hamster. So I have to put a stick in her mouth, like a, like a big thick pelham, so she can't bite me. And then I have to hook the food out of her mouth. So each time we come up, we do that. Um, but you know, we need to get them checked on again she had them checked last year and they said there's nothing they can do about that other than just keep rasping them and uh, keep getting the food out of her cheeks so she doesn't look like a little hamster oh Angel's back anyway bye girls I'm going to go and get a coffee to warm this hand up because it's absolutely freezing and um, we'll see you in the next video bye